see this on a coffee table with all of our wedding pictures in it right there in Paris. And I okay. think about that, and I forget about the car business. Like, like it never happened. Well, that's how it's supposed to be. Smooth sailing from now on. Okay, time to do a fitting for the wedding dress. My wedding dress is in that bag? Uh -huh. My wedding dress is in that bag. <laughs> Could you get the phone? Hello? Hey, it's Jack Snyder. Oh, hey, Jack. Carly just walked in with this huge garment bag over her shoulder. Hold on, I'll put her on. Actually, I want to talk to you. Oh. Okay, when? How's now? Stay where you are. I'll be right over. Over here, what is he doing, following me around? Well, I think he just wants to ask some questions about what happened to Rose's car. Oh. Yeah, I'm so he told me about that. I'm sorry. I was so excited about the dress, I forgot to ask. How are you doing? I'm okay? great. Are you kidding me? I grew up with graffiti. You know that. Okay. Jack said that it was more than just spray paint. Rose. Mm. You know Rose. She doesn't want anyone to know she's scared. I hope Jack gets to the bottom of it. Yeah, I'm going to wait outside for him. Leave you girls to do your... Wedding dress thing. Come in. Yeah. I'm really okay. Between the nasty phone call and trashing the car, I'm okay. It's a lot to handle. I know. I got, you know, Crater the bodyguard out there watching over me. I got Paul watching my every single move. There's nothing to worry about. I don't want to talk about it. I want to talk about a wedding dress. Okay. That's what I want to do. Let me okay. see. All right. Let me do it. Let me do it. Unbelievable. It, 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 it's like belongs in a bridal magazine. It's absolutely perfect. It's even better than we even talked about that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you like it? I'm so glad that oh, you I like it. I just want to try it on. I can't believe it. Can you believe it? Two of us happy, married to Jack. I'm marrying the greatest guy in the world that I never, ever thought. Me, marrying a guy like that. Not me, not my luck, right? I got to show you the presents. <laughs> that Paul got for me, <laughs> for our wedding pictures. Wow. Huh? Oh, Rose, that, gorgeous? that is so pretty. Yeah. Where did he get this? I've never seen anything like it. That's my Paul. He's got great taste. Well, yes, he does. That's why he's marrying you. No, don't. I didn't mean to make you cry, Rose. Things coming together. You know, it's like my dream is finally going to come true. So, Crater, I uh, want you to do me a little favor. Yeah. Yeah. When the cops ask, and I will ask, where I was, I want you to tell them that I was with you when Rose's car was vandalized. I don't get it. Well, you know, I was uh, in my car all alone. It's just not much of an alibi. You asking me to lie for you, Mr. Ryan? Yes, I am. Come, Jack. My alibi's solid. I am worried about Rose. Really? I didn't know that. Hey, 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 hey. I know it bothers you that I'm so worried about her. I want you to know that... Well, you've been a real doll helping me out like you have. Yeah, I'm a regular Mother Teresa. Well, at least you see now. At least you see somebody's got it in for us, right? We both know who that is. I know. That's why we have Crater on our side now. If he so much as catches Paul looking at Rose cross-eyed, he'll let us know everything. Yeah. Let's hope so. This is the cop who's told you what you're going to have to do. Hey! Oh, Jack. What's up? Uh, is that the bodyguard you hired for Rose? Yeah, Crater. His name's Crater. <laughs> I know. Well, I, I recognize him. He did some security for some friends of mine. He's, he's good. Yeah, I really hope so. Uh, listen, you mind if we talk out of here? Because uh, your wife and my fiance are in there with pincushions and tape measures. It's like this elaborate female body. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, Carly was up all night working on that wedding gown. But, you know, I was just a follow-up. You know, shouldn't take so long. Yeah, look, don't tell Rose, but this whole harassment thing is... 
It's got me pretty spooked. And uh, I hope you get to the bottom of it soon. You know? have, you, have, you, have you talked to Dusty? Not very fond of you, is he? No. No, he thinks I have some evil plan for Rose. In fact, he, he's gone so far as to accuse me of, of walking around town with some, like, voice-changing device that I use yeah, so that I can make a non voice-changing device to Molly Rose. McKinnon claims that she saw it in your possession. Now, what would you be doing walking around with something like that? Careful, Rosie. Someone's got an info. I mean, this is a this is a toy, Jack. This is a toy. It's for Will. I told Molly that. Yeah, Molly doesn't seem to buy it. Yeah, that's because Dusty has convinced her that I'm evil. He's trying to spin this as some kind of proof. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to hold on. To <laughs> well, you gotta give it back, because I really do want to give it to him. Fine, listen, where, where were you when Rosa's car got trapped? Oh, come on, listen, Jack. formality. I was in your driveway. I was in Crater's car. We were talking. I thought Rose was still inside of the shower. <laughs> you can check it if you want. I'm gonna have to. Okay. <laughs> One more thing. Oh, come on. You seem pretty eager to protect Rose, right? I would give my life. Right. So why didn't you call the police the second you found out she got that threatening phone call? I'll tell you what I told Hal when he asked me the same thing. I don't... I, I thought maybe it was just a prank or maybe it was one of my mother's tricks again, and, and I hired a Rose bodyguard. Rose been victimized I before. You know that. Rose has been victimized before. And I'd have thought any threat, especially one from Barbara, you'd take very seriously. I know I would, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I don't know whether I was just being stupid or I was in denial, but... Jack, this whole thing with Rose has really got me spooked. This is... Crater, this is Detective... Hey, hey, Jack so Snyder. Right. You know, I'm sure you're going to ask him a couple questions, so... No, it's... It, no, please. Uh, where were you when Rose's car got vandalized? It's last night around 7 o'clock, right? Right. I was with Mr. Ryan. He was sitting in the car, parked in front of a house in Milltown. It was your house, wasn't it? Correct. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. I hope everything goes swimmingly from here on out, Paul. Well, really good to see you. Good to see you. Okay. Listen, do me a favor, okay? Keep me in the loop. Anything that happens, it, no matter how minuscule you might think, report it, okay? I'll do that. All right. Yeah. You want to come in and say hi to Carly? I'm sure she's done. No, I know better than to go near her when she's got a mouthful of pins. Got to do. Perfect. Why don't you take the rest of the morning off? Thanks. Hey, Rose. Mm. Who do you think could be threatening you? Well, first I thought it was Dusty, because he was there, but... I mean, Barbara with the spray paint incident and everything, but... I don't know, honestly. You know something, for a nice girl, you sure have a lot of people mad at you. Mm. Don't I know that? I know that she's your friend, but have you... Has it occurred to you that, that maybe it could be Mitzi? Mitzi? No, she's mad at me, but... No, trash in my car. Impossible. Uh, she's kind of kooky. Oh, she's kooky. But she's not crazy. Whoever did this was a real psycho. You're, You're absolutely perfect. The whole wedding is going to be perfect. No! Ah! Gave me the morning off. What are you talking about, pal? What? Not before you asked me to lie to the cops for. Lie? About what? He needed an alibi for the time Rose's car got trashed. Bingo! What did I tell you? This is it. This is the break we've been waiting for. Sure. <laughs> yes. All right, I'm gonna go and um, pack this baby up, okay? I'm sorry, I didn't mean okay. to yell. I didn't mean it. No, it's fine. I just, I didn't know you were so superstitious. Who, oh, me? Mm -hmm. No, I could walk with 13 black cats under a million ladders. It's just that so many bad things have already happened no, to the us. the bad part's over. We got to the happy part. Okay. Uh-huh. You let me take care of you. You let me. <laughs> 